Mark Raimondi for ESPN here with you today with Assembly member from California, Matt Haney, and of course, UFC Hall of Famer, current WWE superstar, Ronda Rousey. Uh, first, I wanted to ask uh, Assembly person Haney, I know that you guys have a, an announcement that is pertinent to MMA fighters, and MMA fans. So I guess uh, the floor is yours, Assembly person. Great. Well, thank you. It's great to see you, Mark. Great to see you, Rhonda. Uh, we introduced a bill uh, to take care of uh, retired fighters. Uh, we know that this is an incredibly popular sport. It's a sport that's growing, uh, and it's also one that can be dangerous. And people put their uh, bodies on the line uh, for our entertainment. And as fans, we appreciate it. Uh, but we should make sure they're taken care of when they retire. Uh, too often right now, people uh, fight for in, when they're young. Um, and then as they get older, and they may still experience some of uh, the damages that they may have from fighting, uh, they are left with nothing. Uh, and we've heard really awful stories of people who've retired and had uh, nothing to take care of themselves. So we want to change that. This is a regulated sport in California. Uh, you have to get uh, permission to be able to fight uh, and an authorization to be able to hold events. And because of that, our state has an interest to make sure people are taken care of when they retire. So this bill that we introduced with Rhonda's uh, support and the support of so many other fighters from across the state would uh, put a, a small fee, a, a $1 per ticket that's sold in our state, and put it into a pension fund that would be overseen by the state so that when these fighters retire, they'll have something, uh, they'll have something to be able to provide for themselves. Uh, it's something that already exists for boxers, uh, and there's no reason why MMA fighters, uh, we are the, the state that actually has the most fighters and the most fights uh, for, from, for MMA, and they should have the same uh, opportunities and protections as boxers do. And so that's what this bill will do. And uh, we're working to get it passed this year. And, and this bill is currently right now in the California state legislature. Yes. And we'd be the first state to do this. We hope other states do it as well. And that this is part of a, a growing national effort uh, to provide for these fighters. You know, NFL players have it. Major League Baseball players have it. There's a recognition that when you're an athlete, um, and you are putting your body on the line in the way that these fighters do, that you should be taken care of as, as you age and as you retire. And at, in the state, this is our interest uh, to protect these folks. And so this bill, if it passes, would create this pension fund, which already exists for boxers and have it extended for, to MMA fighters. And, uh, and I want to get to Rhonda in a second here, but just just last thing real quick for assembly person Haney. Uh, this would only be for California based fighters or, or fighters that have a certain amount of fights in California. Is that correct? Yes, it, it, you don't have to be a California uh, resident to, to apply for it, but you have to have a certain number of fights. And right now we're looking at about 10 to 13 fights that you would have to have uh, had in California, and then you would be eligible for this pension. And, and Rhonda, I mean, what, what about this bill? What about this possible law? Uh, it, it wants you to support it. What, what about it? Well, I mean, MMA is a sport that i think you have a much shorter shelf life than than any other sport than boxing than nfl than any of those other examples you have a much shorter window because your body takes um, <clears throat> so much more of a heavier toll and the difference with um with these kind of combat sports with all this contact and the the neurological injuries involved you don't know the day that you've taken one hit too many you're going to find out that you cross that threshold many decades later when you no longer have <laughs> Hi. when you no longer yeah, have yeah, that, that extra income yeah she's, that, she's coming in you're taking over the interview um but um but that's the thing it's when you're dealing with the repercussions of that career is when you're you no longer have that income stream and so there's like a a, a big gap there where you know when you have the resources you're and when you have the need for them they're they're, they're not overlapping and i used to always that is one thing I would say to my husband, like everyone loves you when you're in, in the ring or the octagon and you're fighting, but are any of those people going to be there for you or thinking of you at all a second of the day when you're 90 and you're still dealing with, um, with everything that you've done? Because it's not like when you get older, you realize your body never forgets any injury. They just come back later, <laughs> you know, and you're young and you're invincible and you're like, I'll, I'll do this all day long. But, um, it, it it does take a toll and a lot of times you don't realize it until until many many decades later when nobody's thinking of you and you have no resources and um that's one of the reasons why i think you have to kind of be crazy to fight and a lot of people aren't leaving 
their their Harvard law profession, you know, to go and be a fighter. You know, a lot of these people don't have a lot of options. And I was really almost like shocked and encouraged by humanity that anyone was even thinking of the fighters after they're not fighting anymore. Cause I just kind of thought that nobody cares ever that they only want to see us punch each other and it's really cool. And then they forget about us and don't, don't ever think about us for a second after that. And this is the first time I've really felt that anyone actually is thinking about the fighters themselves, not just the fight and actually cares about the people and not thinking of us as a product. And if this doesn't pass, I'll be extremely disappointed. And I hope that, you know, um, we, we try again, but um, I can't think of a single reason why all of these fighters that are literally fighting their hearts out and putting their lives on the line to entertain people are, you know, haven't had this support already. And I, I'm really keeping my fingers crossed. If I could cross them because they're so damaged from fighting, uh, <laughs> that this will pass. Well, please, please don't armbar any members of our of our California State Senate or, or <laughs> Assembly. Yes. Get, get uh, but, some watch out here, you know. But but, but for both of you, to, to, to both of your points about how other sports have this already, uh, and, and these are sports that are not as physically demanding as MMA is. Uh, is there a way to, I know that, that, you know, California and, and, and I, and I kudos, you know, to, to you guys for doing this in California, but is there a way to expand this across the country, promotions, other states, federal, is there any way to do this for, for either of you? Well, I, you know, I, I think that this is a really important place to start. We, like you said, we have this already in place for boxers there's no reason it shouldn't be extended to mma fighters so we already have this infrastructure and then we want to demonstrate how this can be built i hope to see a lot of other states uh replicate this this type of model i hope to see us find ways to grow the amount of revenue that we can put in uh, we've had a, a good set of conversations with uh, some of the promoters and uh, hopefully we can get them to be more invested in it as well and and, and ultimately they can make even larger contributions to this fund so uh, I think we, we believe this is an important first step, but it's also a very real one that will help thousands of people. And it, it's meaningful. Uh, and California, like I said, has the most fights and the most fighters. And so this makes sense to be a place where this gets done, but it really should be everywhere. And I really think that having something like this pass is going to attract like the best talents in, in the industry to be out here. Because I mean, the people that are at the top have a choice of where they want to fight. And if if fighters know even out of state fighters that anytime that they fight in Los Angeles, you know, they're getting closer and closer to being eligible for a pension. They're always, they're going to insist on wanting to, to rack up those fights here. And so it's not just something great to do for the fighters. I know Paul, she wants to shut ourselves in the laundry room. Hold on a second. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> she wants to get the door. That might be an emergency. <laughs> But uh, but I think it's going to attract a lot better talent out here. And a lot of people are going to, a lot of the fighters are going to want to fight out here because it's an investment in their future. Yeah. No, I, th I think this is great for fans uh, in California. There's going to be more opportunities probably for in, uh, in-person uh, uh, fights with great fighters. And also they should know that they're supporting these fighters when they come to these events and when they buy souvenirs. That will go, there will be a part of that that will go into these, this fund. And so... Uh, this is a way for them to support fighters, and it should also be a way for them to really appreciate the sacrifices that these fighters are making, like 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 Rhonda and her fingers. <laughs> you know, this is this is very real, and I and and I think we should respect it and appreciate it and value it, but also make sure that they have care and protection when they're done. I feel like we're getting a free episode of Ronda Rousey's <laughs> Cribs right now. Yes, as well, crib and cribs, I guess, yeah. with uh, with Poe there, but uh, for, her own for reality, person, Janey, uh, do, do, you, do you guys know how the, the distribution will look yet for this fund? Uh, will it be like one fighter per year getting a, a lump sum? Is there is there a decision made on that yet? So it'll be once a, a fighter has vested, so they've done this number of uh, fights, then they will be vested until uh, um, in the retirement system, and they will be able to start to pull from it uh, when they hit 50 years old. So at okay. 50 years old, they will pull from, from it. So we'll have a few decades actually to really build this up. Uh, but folks will also have the opportunity to pull from it if they had an injury um, or a disability that that was created. So they could pull from it earlier in that in that scenario. Otherwise, it will happen when they hit 50 and they'll have, uh, as, as Rhonda said, a lot of the people may not feel the real impacts of this until they get older. And so we want to make sure we're sort of putting aside funds for them. These funds are also invested. So 
Um, the reason why it makes sense for the California to do this is our athletic commission can regulate it, can yeah. take these funds, and then also put them into a pension fund to invest them, um, and, and that grows over time. So it's it, it creates a, um, a set of funds that are available for these fighters when they retire. And is there is there any kind of a timetable for when you think the bill might pass, if it does? Well, we want to pass it and get it signed this year. So, uh, it will it will have its first hearing in the next few weeks. Uh, it'll go through the legislature and then it'll go to the governor's desk. And it has the support of the athletic commission. Uh, we've been able to work well with with the promoters who are doing these fights. Um, and so we want to build a lot of momentum behind it and hopefully get it signed into law this year. Both of you, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, this passes for the fighters. Otherwise, you might get an arm bar from Ronda Rousey uh, in the in the state uh, in the state capital of Sacramento. But again, can't thank you guys enough. Uh, and uh, and kudos to what you're doing for fighters. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.